is Si from the Dye Kitchen. I'm sure that you all know him. I'm just about to go on stage and do a bit of baking. Si did his session at half nine. Any tips, Si? Um, don't be afraid of making a pool out of yourself, as I did about six, seven times in the last ten minutes. It's fine. It's laughing off. It's all good. I am really nervous. I have pre-made some snack foods, so you can't go too far wrong. So, yeah, I'll be meeting up with Si later on. Um, now, yeah, thank you. My name's Nick, I blog at nicksnutrition.com and today I'm representing Protein Dynamics. So I'm just going to show some no-bake protein snacks. So first up is uh, protein peanut butter balls, which um, I don't know if the camera can get that or if you can all see these. So these are protein peanut butter balls, they're made up of mainly four ingredients and they're really easy to make. I'm going to start by using a quarter cup of protein powder. I use whey protein, um, any flavour will do, and then a quarter a cup of ground almonds so the protein and healthy fats is going to leave you feeling full of longer so that's the aim of these recipes to prevent hunger cravings we then need some um, two-thirds of a cup of uh, peanut butter when you're buying peanut butter just check the ingredients list and make sure things like sugar and salt aren't on the label this one is 100% nuts so I'm going to estimate now two-thirds of a cup when you're doing no-bake protein recipes, don't get too caught up with like how much grams and things are in them because if it looks too dry, you can just add more nut butter or honey and if it looks too wet, just add more of the dry ingredients. So I'm just going to give this a mix and the final ingredient is a tablespoon of honey. So there's literally four, is it just four ingredients Yeah, this? protein so. powder, ground almonds, peanut butter and honey, that's it. Oh. The optional ingredient is chocolate chips, so would you like me to add the chocolate chips? Yes, <laughs> the girls are nodding. <laughs> so I'll add some chocolate chips in there as well. The dark chocolate chips are one of the best. Just check the ingredients list, check that cocoa is one of the first on there. The next one I'm going to make is probably one of my favourite recipes on my entire vlog. It's a uh, protein fudge, and again, it only uses hardly any ingredients. I know that the last guy who was on here was talking about um, the benefits of coconut oil. So it is a saturated fat, and I know that in the media it's come about how saturated fat is no longer evil. Where I stand on it, from a, like, from a heart health point of view, monounsaturated fatty acids, things like avocados, nuts and seeds, are really cardioprotective. Saturated fats, things like meats and dairy, are kind of like neutral. Any trans fats, things like found in processed biscuits, sweets, cakes, are kind of like the enemies that you want to avoid. So yeah, I've got nothing wrong with using things like butter and coconut oil in moderation, as long as you're using um, things like oily fish and olive oil as well. The mixture tastes amazing. I did a YouTube video making of these with um, Zana Van Dyke, I don't know if anyone knows Zana. And I was really struggling not to eat the mixture whilst being filmed. Was the response good? Yeah, so thumbs up for those. Good. What protein is it that you use for this? Well, so this is Protein Dynamics Dyna, Dyna Pro Anytime. Um, it's a whey protein. That was banana flavour. My favourite flavours though are vanilla ice cream and chocolate brownie from the range. And they also do a really nice chocolate mousse. The next recipe that I'm going to do then is um, chocolate no baked protein truffles. These look amazing. Um, I can't take credit for this recipe. This is by the lovely Zana Van Dyke. So when we met up and collaborated on YouTube about a year ago, she fell in love with my protein fudge, which you've all tried, and I fell in love with these. Um, I'm gonna be using coconut flour. Because this is a no-bake recipe, the coconut flour is really good because it like absorbs all the liquid. I asked for another assistant. Yeah, so we have another helper, put your hand up. I... Yeah, you can Thank you. So this whole mixture, like with the protein balls where you've got to have a little bit of willpower about not to eat the entire batch. This one you can actually eat the entire batch because it's about only like 200 calories. Um, so girls, right, all we're going to be doing is pumping that mixture together, rolling it and then maybe, yeah, popping it on that plate. And if you want to roll in desiccated coconut, then I'll put some desiccated coconut in there. Oh wow girls, you've done really well. So um, 
these girls have actually gone and made five, six, seven, eight. When I made this recipe, I only made four, so <laughs> thank you. So you're going to bring around some samples as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So samples. these are the no bake chocolate truffles. They're made with cocoa powder. The girls say they smell so nice. Do you want to try some of those? Let me know what you think. They are like, they, one of the reasons why I like protein snacks as opposed to just downing a protein shake is that the chewing action kind of like increases satiety and fullness. So I don't know about you, but like if I down a protein shake, I'll like be looking for, for food like straight away. But these like, they're actually quite chewy. Yeah, so the but entire batch there is 200 calories and what, like 25, 30 grams of protein. So I think 20 to 30 grams of protein after a workout is pretty good. The key is to spread out your protein intake over the day just to help with digestion, um, I personally promote between like one and two grams or one to three grams of protein per kilogram of body weight a day um, if you're working out. If you're not working out though, don't eat too much protein or it'll just be stored as fat. Simple as that. Um, thank you very much girls. Do you want to hand those out? Oh, we'll give them a round of applause. Thank you. And if you want to try the fudge, I've got some more samples. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Everyone give Nick a round of applause. Yeah, I'm here with Muscle Boom, but it's, it's been amazing, great exposure and great fun. So, Mitch yeah. has got a great YouTube 